Okay, welcome to video two of Karachi. All the uh, common camping areas and major flaws with this map. First of all, let's come to this back area where sometimes people spawn. And I'm pretty sure that was the purpose of this area was for uh, a team to spawn, and that's fine. I understand that. But you should also watch out. It's a very common area for boosters. And before I continue, since I'm not sure if this video is going to last 10 minutes or not, boosting is a problem, and it is a big enough problem that I am ready to concede and say they should probably take out the tack insertions. I love the tack insertions, I think they are very handy, but I think what the boosters have done to this game have ruined it. So if they decide to take them out, I will support their decision. I hope they find a better way to stop the boosting, but I'll be honest, I can't think of another way to do it. So if anyone has any ideas, just leave comments or, you know, skip me and go right to Infinity Ward if you think they'll listen because they've done such a good job with everything else. But, uh, yeah, back to this map. First of all, very few people come back here. What is the point of that gun? I don't know. Next, Infinity Ward. Amazing level design, right? We've talked about that. So creative, I can't be the only one that building looks familiar to. I mean, really? They couldn't at least give us new stuff in this game? I haven't left one spawn area, and I've already pointed out just random crap. Um... This is a kind of common area since people spawn back there. If you're ever in this area, there's probably going to be one or two people who just spawned recently. Uh, people love to come up here. They'll put like a claymore here or on the stairs, so watch out for that. And honestly, Just sit up here, they'll snipe. Actually, I find very few snipers so much as a lot of M16ers or FAMAS. And the, yes, M16ers sounds ridiculous, but yeah. Here's just one of these rooms where you know the only purpose of it was to camp. I mean, you can climb up here and kind of get a decent view down that way, but no one ever uses it for that. You just. All people ever do is just sit in here, camp like little girls they are. And uh, another area is the marketplace where I've talked about they do sell fruits and soccer balls. But uh, people just come in here to camp. Uh, it, it is can be used for a pretty handy reason of ducking for cover if you're in a firefight, but again. More often than not, it's used for camping. <laughs> Just little ledges that people can get on. I'll talk about those later because there's going to be a point to it. And I brought it up in the flanking video. There's almost always going to be people up on this ledges. This ledges, that's perfect grammar for you. And, uh, I'm not going to call it common spot, but it's definitely also not uncommon at the same time. And, uh, I'm sorry about this, my controller is messed up, I am unable to do simple things apparently. And yes, I am blaming it on my controller for this, it's messed up right now. But, people love to come in here. And generally, if they worked hard enough to get up here, when I say worked hard, it's actually pretty easy to do, but it's also pretty easy to get shot while doing. They'll put attack insertion, so uh, watch out for that. And they'll sit up here and just kind of guard. It's pretty easy to kill them in here. I don't think it's that great of a spot. And I think people are starting to learn that, but uh, there's still those who like to go up there and try to do what they can.
Honestly, people like to just sit up on this ledge. They'll just sit in the back and wait for people to walk by. That's right, I'm not touching my controller right now, except to hold the left trigger. And my guy's moving, because that's my amazing controller. And they did give people this nice little campy coal. That covers mo pretty much the main camping spots. So, I think there's enough time. This is the most unbalanced map in the game. I would have liked the map. I like the, the style of it if it wasn't so messed up. First, for all those who need me to draw a picture for them. Whenever I say the sea spawn, I'm talking about this area right back here. Because in domination, sea is right here. So this is a sea spawn. If you spawn here at the beginning of the game, you might as well back out right then because it's over for you. You are pretty much spawn locked from the start. Mm, this is why. Like I said, there's always going to be people on these ledges for the simple fact that you're going to still spawn there no matter what. Uh, if you've seen our, uh, my video, The uh, Art of Spawn Locking, you saw how I could just put attack insertion behind this vent. They couldn't get far enough over here to take out the attack insertion. So even if they did kill me while I was up here, I could still just come right back here. Uh, that common spot I showed you earlier, up there, it has a great view of people trying to escape over this way. And all these places I'm showing you, people can sit at, and your spawn won't change. You're still going to spawn there, and you're just going to take it in the ass repeatedly. Just nice little jumps that screw this spawn over. Like right here, right as you come out that door around that hallway, you're boned. That, uh, yeah, that ledge I was talking about before. Great view of the door, great view of this left side. This ledge provides a little bit of cover here. And I guess just a few more ledges that are kind of obvious if you think about it, but at the same time not really used. You make it out the door, the, there's going to be people up on these ledges shooting you as you make, come out. I'm not sure if you need lightweight for that one or not. I don't think you do, but I have it in this kit. So, uh, yeah. I mean, pretty much every, uh, every little jump in this map is specifically designed to fuck over that spawn. And I talked about this building before, how it provides a nice little bit of cover, so when they are sitting here shooting at you while you try to escape, you won't, won't be able to shoot them back. And yeah, there's places you can go to uh, kind of guard other spawns as well, but for some reason, that spawn changes if that happens, not the C spawn. Once you're back in that little corner, you're there for the game. I I actually haven't done this myself, but I, every time I spawn there, I think about just leaving. It's not worth the crap you're going to have to put up with. Again, just a little ledge up here. And yes, if you're good and you have decent teammates, you can escape. But one... If you're up against anyone who's at least semi-competent, it's extremely difficult to do, even if you are good with good teammates. And two, think about it. When was the last time you played Modern Warfare 2 with smart teammates? Exactly. 
And it looks like this video is going to be me to come to the close. I showed you the major camping spots. I've showed you why this is the most unbalanced map in the game. And... You know, I've got a few seconds, and I only need a few seconds. This is one of the maps you can get on, on top of by doing the elevator glitch just right over here because that's a problem they've had since the start of the game and they decided, you know what? We don't need to fix that. And that's... That's pretty much it. You can get on top of that building, so it's decent. Another good view. But yeah, farewell.